So I'm starting off by moisturizing my face and I'm using this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream which is so good for dry skin. And I'm going to prep my eyes for shadow. I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and blending it out. And you do want to make sure to set it with a translucent powder that way it does not crease. And I like to press the powder onto my lid and then just dust it off. So to intensify the orange that we are creating, I'm taking this color from the same palette, same brush, and just applying it over the crease. That way when we do um, our little half cut crease, it's going to be popping. So now I'm taking some concealer and a very, very small brush and carefully applying this to half of my lid. You want to make sure that the crease part is defined and you can always go back in with shadow to build it up but this part is very important you want to work fast with it well especially for this concealer because it dries pretty quick but i really really like it because the coverage is good and it's going to work perfect as my base for my shadow so i'm taking tempura from the uh, same palette and i'm packing this over the concealer and then going back with burnt orange just to blend the edges that way everything looks good and I don't have to keep going back in because it's going to be blended already. So for liner, I'm taking my e.l.f. liquid liner and I'm just creating a wing. I really like this eyeliner. The only thing that sucks about it is that it's not waterproof, but I do like how it applies my wing. So for our foundation, I'm taking this Estee Lauder Double Wear in Tawny. But before, I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu spray. And I'm just tapping this foundation. I really like this foundation. It's only like maybe a shade lighter than me, but I'm going to bronze up my face. This foundation lasts the entire day and it looks so flawless. I really like this foundation and I am applying it with my Real Techniques sponge. The only thing about this foundation that sucks is that it does have a flashback. So I only wear it during the day. So I'm going to cover my dark circles and highlight my face with the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. And I'm just going to keep on blending. This does have full coverage and it is very very pigmented so you do want to use a little bit and i'm going to set it with this lancome translucent powder moving on to lashes i'm using these huda beauty lashes in samantha they are so beautiful i love how they make my eyes look and they're so easy to apply Um, for brows, I'm using the Vasanti Brow Powder in Deep Thought. It's like a dark gray shade. And I'm using this random angled Morphe brush. I need to get a brow wiz. I went to Sephora the other day and I completely forgot to get a brow wiz. So for contour, I'm taking the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Book and I'm taking this light powder right here. It's very cool tone and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones and to warm up my face, I'm taking MAC Give Me Sun. I'm just applying that over the sculpting powder that I use and I'm blending it all over since this foundation is a little bit lighter. I definitely want to focus the bronzer on the forehead since... So like my forehead is a little darker than the rest of my face and just keep on blending blending and blending
So for highlight, I've been like so addicted to this highlight. I don't know why it just looks beautiful. And it's the Dose of Color and the Katie and Desi collab. And I'm taking this random Real Techniques brush and just popping on that highlight everywhere because it looks beautiful. So for lips, I'm taking more creamer, please, which is also by Dose of Colors, and it just makes this look so warm. I love it. So now I'm just blending some of the shadow that I use on my crease to my lower lash line. It just gives the look a little bit more of a pop. And then taking this Rummel London Mascara to blend my real lashes with the falsies and then applying it to my lower lashes. my brows i'm taking this lancome translucent gel and this makes my eyebrows stay in place the entire day i love it so now that we are finished i'm going to set my face with the urban decay all nighter spray and that completes this look i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys